that's all you want. Why would you trade a world dragon's soul for the energy it's supposed to gather? You need the sea dragon's soul more than I do. I only want the energies of the sky, earth, and dark dragons. It seems a fair trade to me. Will you accept? Well, we certainly don't have anything to lose. Even if we gave you all the dragon energy in the three souls we have. As long as we retain the souls themselves, we can use them as crucibles to convert common dragon energy into world dragon energy. And we should have enough common energy to restore the amount you're asking. Almost as if you factored that into your proposal. You seem remarkably well-versed in Draco Dynamics. I'm afraid I don't understand. Why do you need the energy of the World Dragons? I suppose you could say I'm trying to put my past behind me. Your past? Meaning? What it means is irrelevant. The choice is yours. Accept or refuse. <laughs> True. I suppose I don't need to know your reasons. Fine, then. I accept your terms. Then we have a deal. Well, well. I certainly didn't expect the Sea Dragon to fall into our laps. This genus. It could be problematic if he were to side against us. Oh, mustn't get bogged down in all these hypotheticals. We have new research material. Cause for celebration, I'd say. Now, if you don't mind, I've got to get started on some adjustments for the Dragon Imperator. Good thinking. For now, we should focus on pushing our plans forward. The Church's prize is so close, I can almost taste it. Yes, exactly. Oh, I can hardly wait to see Deus with my own eyes. We're not there yet. We're still missing one final piece. And once the Dragon Imperator is ready, that piece will be mine. Trying to break the seal? Unleash Deus upon the world again? The story would be wiped out. We'd have no chance against that calamity. Not just Astoria. What? If Deus's seal is broken, the catastrophe will spread across the entire world. The catastrophe? The Shining Dragon was telling me. If the catastrophe is unleashed, We'll see natural disasters, monsters, plagues. If that happens, it won't just be Astoria. Wellant and the Empire will be destroyed too. Hmm. I see your point. The last catastrophe was during Ragnarok. The world dragons were around to seal it away, but... Now they're gone. All we have left is the Shining Dragon. The dragon I carry with me. He's our last hope. I want to use the dragon's power to save the world, but I can't do it alone. So I'm begging you all, please, help me fight back. <sighs> <laughs> 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 
Yuma. A bizarre role reversal, isn't it? You asking for our help. And you shall have it, Sir Yuma. Knight of the Shining Dragon. I hereby entrust the fate of this war to you and your sworn allies, the Dragoneers. My kingdom will offer any help you need. Call out, Yuma, and Astoria shall answer. Your Majesty. Welland stands at your side as well. The High Elves left us a legacy and we will not fail them. Yuma, we'll always be with you. Thank you. Thank you all. Do you have some kind of plan, Yuma? It's a fine thing to say we're going to save the world, but where do we start? I'd like to hear what Genus has to say. He must have known this would happen. Maybe he's been guiding us all along. Yeah, he helped us get away from Bjorg. He might actually be one of the good guys. But where can we find him? Any ideas, Agnum? Hey, don't ask me. It's not like I have poker nights with the guy. I know you said he was hard to read, but if we don't know where or when he'll turn up, how do we find him? I might have an idea. Where do you think he'd be, brother? The village where he was born. You mean, the one he destroyed? Uh, I figured he'd prefer to stay away after something like that. But we might still learn something about Genus there. Besides, the Shining Dragon said that's where the seal is. The one they used on Deus. It was the Shining Dragon's vessel before Genus. His Radiance's vessel? That seems worth investigating. It would do no harm to check. Then let's go. Lead the way, Liston. As you like.